Hey YouTubers, Tess Jespon here. Got another review to do on uh, this classic Chucky 1.6 figure, I believe. Um, it's very well. If it's not, it's very close. Uh, the box is probably not uh, a 1.6, uh, because of the you know, clamshell and all that uh, that was involved in putting this piece in. But if the box was a little bit smaller, it probably would have been uh, definitely a 1.6 uh, box as well. So this is a um, this was made from Necker. It's uh, I believe this would be the the original Chucky release, going by the look of the uh, knife that he's using on the back there. I think they used that in the original movie. Uh, this was uh, released uh, something uh, was Necker released um, in addition to a DVD the DVD movie release. Uh, which was the original Chucky figure. This is the one before he got uh, possessed. But uh, then uh, Nick has gone out and released uh, this possessed Chucky, which uh, I much prefer because it's the it's the horror horror piece. So I'm glad they've done that. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to head open this up and uh, get it out. Okay, I managed to get it out of the uh, packaging here without damaging it too much. Uh, the box is, um, yeah, definitely this like the uh, in the movie uh, with the cartoons illustrations on this box is, um, yeah, spot on to the uh, authentic movie box that the uh, doll was in. Now, what you get is you get the the figure. It's articulated in almost backwards and forwards motion in the feet. I'll give you a close up in a minute. And backwards and forwards motion in the uh, upper legs and in the knees. You have uh, front, front and back movement in the arms. The arms do not come out by the sides and you have articulation backwards and forwards motion in the elbows and side to side in the hand. Uh, rotation in the head, yeah, you pretty much no ab crunch, no ab crunch. But it is a doll, so I'm not expecting I have a lot. I love the fact that they've actually given you the clothes, you know, if you can if you're not happy with this, you can customise yourself. I'm really happy with it. I think the detail in the head is great. You also get the the I believe it was the ceremonial no, uh, knife. Uh, I, I think it was the ceremonial knife. The uh, yeah, and then the good guys hammer and the. Uh, Kitchen, kitchen knife. <clears throat> Followed by the baseball bat. Going by the uh, the the kitchen knife and the bat, these are a slightly smaller to scale. Uh, but I believe this figure, this doll, would have to be close to one six. But uh, I've got a comparison of the baseball bats being. Uh, Suicide Squad's Harlequin's bat, and then the uh, bat that it comes with with the Chucky. So now it's, there's a there's considerable difference in size. So going by this, it's not one six, but going by the figure size, it is one six because I know the doll was uh, quite large, uh, but. Going by this is around about knee height to the one six figures you have here, which is pretty close to what the um, the, fi the figure was in the movie. So, um, yeah, very interesting. Actually, I do have, I do have some side side um, leg movement here. Sorry, but the other leg doesn't seem to want to come out sideways for some reason. Maybe a little bit stiff. There we go. Got some movement now. I don't want to go forcing and breaking it. 
Ah yes, we do have side movements, sorry. I am apologise, we do have side movements in the arm. Apologise, it's just a little stiff. Okay, I'm going to give you a quick look, close up, with some um, articulation movements. Show you what you can do. Okay, first up we've got uh, the figure in a, a pretty good um, action pose actually for for what it is and uh, it balances really well considering the size of his feet. So I'm very surprised on um, the, the the way the figure can actually pose. So <laughs> yeah, very surprised. Here we have uh, a sort of running forward motion of uh, Chucky with the knife in his hand. I, I must say, I must say the 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 rooted hair is just and the clothing added to this figure is just a it's, it's a serious. Uh, and t great touch from NECA and uh, other companies involved. Uh, it was at Real Toys. <clears throat> um, you know, doing this figure like it is is um, definitely uh, it's a plus for me. Definitely, definitely a plus for me because I was thinking of what sort of one six figures going to be coming out of Chucky and how I'm going to put him in you know, detail. So now the. Uh, Pretty much the uh, it answers the question. Um, really, really happy with it. Okay, I'll just um, probably just put uh, the baseball bat in his hand now, and uh, yeah, leave it at that. We uh, have uh, Chucky coming around here now, and just holding the baseball bat. I suppose any larger than this baseball bat probably wouldn't go in his hands anyway. So it's probably why they have scaled it down a bit. But there you have his um, accessories at the front. There, you know, he balances really well. Uh, his his detail on his face is is great. You know, the fact that it's got clothing and the <clears throat> and the rooted hair, you know, I'm really, really, really happy with uh, not only the cost of this, but um, the detail that NECA have gone out and uh, put into this figure. Appreciate it. Uh, thanks to NECA and uh, and the other toy company that was involved. Which who was it? Um, Real Toys. Um, appreciate uh, your effort and uh, that's it for me thank you very much for uh, watching my YouTube video on this classic movie uh, Chucky test just one out catch up